This video is brought to you by Black Dragon Miniatures. Go check out their website today at blackdragonminiatures.com for all your wargaming and hobby needs. This video is brought to you in part by Badly Drawn Death, a quick, brutal, and stupid battle card game. The campaign is live on Kickstarter today and will end on September the 3rd, 2018. If you're not so sure what Badly Drawn Death is all about, check the overview video that I've done. The link is in the description for the campaign and to go watch that video. When you play the Game of Thrones, you win or you die. There is no middle ground. You're in the great game now, and the great game is terrifying. Hello ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls of all ages. This is Lee, the producer of Bleep Top Productions, and today we're bringing you another Game of Thrones LCG card game. And yes, ladies and gentlemen, this game is incredible. It's so much fun. If you haven't played it yet, I recommend that you pick it up. It is so much fun. If you love Game of Thrones, it's a must have. So, with that being said, this is the fourth game, and it is Baratheon versus Lannister. Now, the problem we have with this game, ladies and gentlemen, is that we recorded this game at Firestorm Games. I recommend checking their website out, obviously on the screen right now, and also their venue. They're always putting on tournaments, whether it be card game related, miniature game related, or board game related. Those guys do a fantastic job. Go check them out in Cardiff. They are a fantastic venue, but because we were recording live there, there was a tournament going on, so the noise of this episode is a bit crazy. I have muted it as best I could so you could hear myself and Rich playing, but yes, just be aware the noise does get a bit crazy at certain parts. But anyway, with that being said, let's get straight into the decks. And the first thing I'm gonna apologize for is, Rich is playing a House Baratheon deck that is, yeah, it is no more unfortunately, because at the recording of this episode, we were just getting ready to go to the UK Games Expo. That's right, that bit of a beast there. And Rich blew up the hit this deck that he played with to actually make a deck for the Games Expo. So unfortunately, we don't have the deck list for you for his deck, but with my deck, with the House Lannister that I'm playing with, I've decided to take the Lannisters for once, and I'm running the Banner of the Kraken with this. So I've got a few Greyjoy members in there, but mainly Lannister. And if you want to check out the deck list, you can pause the screen right now. There you go, to check out my list. And with that being said, guys, we're going to get straight into game four. Will Baratheon overpower the Lannisters, or will the Lannisters claw their way to victory? Let's find out right now. Oh, Mage, got it? We chose seven. Yes, so let's freaking go. Needs to go. That and needs then, to go. Yes. And I'm trying the house with the red door. <laughs> Let's see what happens. Let me read what the house does. <laughs> you cannot spend more than four gold during the setup phase. Oh. I massively need to mulligan. You're going to mulligan? I think so. Because he needs to come out. He needs to be marshal. Is this, is this a mulligan? It's a mulligan. I lost, I lost count halfway through. <laughs> I'm glad we'll I didn't count. Two. We'll go with three. Yeah, do it. So I'm going to go with three now instead of two after you've debated about mulligan. That's, that's, that's much, much better. Much, much yeah. better. But like we were saying, these games are at Firestorm, we're here in Wales, we're here for another convention, but we're here to play Game of Thrones and record some games. Mike is basically being the two-headed dragon next to him as well. You're just going to how, how rich, just like, a, what is it, what's the three-headed dog? Is it Cerberus, isn't it? Yeah. Okay. Right. Two. Two? Okay. What well, are those? So I say two, stand oh, so, so what's your red door thing? What does it do? After all agendas are announced, yep. search your deck for a non-limit for a non-limited unique location with a printed cost of three or lower and put it into play. Okay. Uh, that location cannot be discarded by play or card effects. You cannot spend more than four gold during the setup. 
Okay, cool beans. So I assume we've announced our agendas. Yeah. So I assume it's before the draw. So I will do that now. Do it now. So more yeah, it's, shenanigans. It's we, uh, after we reveal our agendas. Yeah, straight away. Straight away, you look for that lovely location. You always have to pick confusing, like, agendas, mate. Because they're fun. Oh, fuck. And that's the other reason. They, yeah. No, that's so, Amazon. because of your agenda, you're now playing, what, the Iron Throne? The Iron Throne. For free. Well, it was nice having dominance for about, what, five seconds? Yeah, five seconds. Right, okay. I play two. Okay, what are your two, sir? Let's reveal at the same time. Mine is a Rose Road and Davin Seaworth from so, the corset. So, Davin Seaworth from the front corset. Stealth, and then what else has he got? Uh, interrupt. When Davin Seaworth is killed, yep. return him to your hand instead of instead of placing him in your dead spot. Cool, cool. I have Jamie Lannister as Lord Knight. So, Jamie Lannister does not kneel when declared as an attacker in a military challenge and gains renown while participating in a military challenge. And he's got a bodyguard. And that's pretty much me done. And then I also have a great hall, which um, is a limited marshalling action. Kneel this to reduce the cost of any unique character in the marsh phase by one. Two, uh, by two instead, if the character's printing cost is six or higher. Okay, so we draw back up to our starting hands. Means. Right, and then we do plot, sir. Okay. okay, here we go. A noble cause. Marching orders. Yes, right. right. Recurring That's thing in the room. The first thing I've got to do is play a location. <laughs> <laughs> So marching orders, um, what does it do for uh, anyone who's just so, listening to this? Uh, you cannot march your locations, attachments or play events. Cool beans, um, if you watch you any of our videos, you can't, you, can't you can't do it. You can't do it. Um, well you can if you mean, yeah, because I'm special. And I forget about it. <laughs> so, um, and mine's a noble cause, reduce the cost of the first lord or lady character you marshal in this round by two. Okay. So, um, I have a gold value of five. Ten. I have ten. You have ten. Because I have a beautiful rosary already. It is true. And then Seven, nine, ten. you have three for initiative. I have zero. So would you like to go first or second? Two. I will. Um, I'll go first. Okay. So we draw two. And good game, sir. Let the good times roll. Oh, I will stick to the original plan. Do the original plan. So, uh, what's that? Beric? Don Darien. Don Darien. No! Duke. Duke! Duke! Well, Duke. 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 Just because Renown. Dear God, he's not going to die! <laughs> Ever! <laughs> no, he isn't going to die anyway. <laughs> he's not going to die. Um, X is the number of kiss tokens uh, he has. Yeah. Force reaction. Uh, after you marshal Lotta Bomba, uh, you can place six tokens on it. Uh, interrupt when he uh, when he would be killed. Discard a kiss token to save. Him. Uh, so D six six. Ugh. So he's six strength, six lives. Yes, indeed. So technically, he technically has seven because after those six go, no, after the dupe, he then has a dupe, and if yep. you get another dupe, it technically will be eight. Seven. And I have to place that. Please move with three. Yep. Which I will play. Fiery followers. Yep. For three. And what do they do, Rich? Uh, so reaction. Uh, after the dominance phase begins, stand fiery followers. Cool beans. Is that you done, sir? That is me done. Cool. Right. Here we go then. So with two, kneel this. So now it'll be four. Then I'll spend three. And I'll bring Joffrey out for the first little bit of the game. And then what we'll do, we'll then go one for Iron Mines and then one 
for a Iron Islands fishmonger. So, Joffrey Baratheon is a king and lord. Reaction. After you marshal a loyal character, kneel this character and your faction card to, uh, uh, to choose and kill a non-king character with a lower printed cost. Uh -oh. So, toilet paper guys come out, I can kneel him and they'll die. Fish Iron, uh, Iron Islands Fishmonger basically is a reducer, and then Iron Islands Interrupt. When a character would be killed, sacrifice Iron Mines to save that character. Sure. And I'll pass to you for the first round of challenges soon. Oh, well. I'll do an intrigue of two. An intrigue of two. An intrigue of two. Cool. Uh, unopposed. I'm not going to block it. Here we go. This is where the pot goes to all to hell. Uh -huh. Which shiny red card do you want? I'll take this one. Okay. Yeah. It's good. Oh, Hands of Judgment is gone, so that's an interrupt when the effects of an opponent's event would initiate. Cancel those cards from that X is the opponent, uh, event's great cost. That's kind of unfortunate. Does not Neil Wendy Oh, declared his attacker. Declared his attacker. In that case, then. Uh, but you, can sac you sacrifice that to save somebody? Yeah. Power challenge. Power challenge? I'll block it with that. Are you gaining power? You don't gain no, power. No, I don't. I don't gain power. No. Um, I will then park the bus. Park the bus. Cool beans. I'm going to go military of five. Yep, block it. That's fine. He doesn't kneel. Oh, he, d he doesn't kneel yet. He doesn't kneel. Um, I'll then, though, do an unopposed entry on you, so I gain the power of being a sneaky little Lannister. No. Uh, oh, uh, no. you can't see on camera, but they're looking a bit sketchy over there, so... Uh, looking very sketchy. Looking very sketchy. Don't do it. Don't do it. Don't get me. Don't do it. I'll take a Melisandre, though. Oh. First, not the second. Is that first, dead or discarded? Discarded. Discarded. Not too bad. That's not too bad. And then what we'll do is we'll do an unopposed power. So one to take your power off and then one for unopposed. Sure. And then that is the end of the challenge phase. Dominance? It's dominance, so I believe so they you stand. they stand. So I have that as well. Yeah, so you gain a power for dominance. And then I believe that's it. And yep. then we all tap our things. And we draw a new pot card, uh, sir. I need to discard a card. That is true. Six, one, two, three, four, five. Oh, I've got that. I don't. Aha. With round one in the books, as you can see, the Lannisters have a three to one power lead over the Baratheons. So myself, Lee, has three power and Rich has one power. So without further ado, let's get straight into round two and let's see those plots. <laughs> Mine is a Feast of Crows. Ooh, mine is Captain Coppers. So what's your Feast of Crows do then? Uh, reaction. After you win dominance, gain two power for your faction. It's pretty cool. Uh, I've got Counting Coppers. When revealed, draw three cards. So I'm going to draw three now. Cool beans. Right. Okay. We then sort out our gold. I have initiated three. Uh, I have initiated one. Okay. I'll let you go first, and then we draw two cards. First of all, uh, the King's Road, for one. Oh, I just realised, guess what? We didn't cheat in marching orders. No, no, no. Oh, no marching orders, what is it? Whatever the, that card yeah. was. Oh, my days! No, no, right. Achievement unlocked. Well, Achievement I, was, unlocked. I was just going to do it, just to save it. <laughs> nah. Okay, uh, cool. Yeah. King's Road, yeah. I'll then sacrifice that. Yep. So we discard it. Three plus four. Oh. So Mr. Stannis. Stannis. Is this Stannis one or Stannis two? This is Stannis one. 
Okay. So during power challenges, yep. each participating non-king character gains minus one strength. Okay. Reaction. After you win dominance, choose a non-loyal character. That character cannot stand during the standing phase this round. Uh. I'm alright with that. I'm yeah, okay with that. As, as long as he's kneeling, that's the problem. Yeah, so I can't go for an injury. Uh, that's fine. Then I will, for two, play Lightbringer. Oh, shit. Um, yeah. So, uh, Barathe character only. Character only. If attached character is stands Barathe and he gains renown. Reaction. Uh, after attached character gains one or more power, standard. Yep. Limit once per round. Cool, cool. No, once per phase. Uh, once per phase, Lightbringer. That's a problem. Is that you done, sir? That's me done. You've spent all your goals. I have spent all of my goals. I'm going to spend two. By Castley Rock. And Castley Rock is um, you may initiate an additional intrigue challenge during your challenge phases. And then that is me done, sir. Start off to do an intrigue. Okay. Yeah, I'm going to unfortunately have to block that. Yeah. Yeah. Okay, so your intrigue's blocked by Jamie. Uh, I will then do a military challenge. Yeah. Okay, unopposed, so you gain a power. Gain a power. Uh, he gains renown. Okay. He gains power, so he stands because of Lightbringer. Oh, yeah, because of Lightbringer's effect. Yeah, yeah. that's correct. Yeah, if attached character, yep, yeah. yep. Yeah. And I have to kill someone. Oh, yeah, kill someone. Which will be unfortunately this lovely, you know, fishmonger person. There we go. Lovely person. Yep. And then. Uh, power. Yep. For three. I'll block. Just to oppose it. Yeah, to unoppose it. To oppose it. Strict three. I'll still win. Your three, yes, yeah, so you still win, yeah. So I gain one, you lose one? Yep, that's that. I can't do anything, that was super quick. So, uh, dominance goes go back to, to you, uh, but so here he we go. Non loyal? He is non loyal, so yeah. He can't stand. Yeah, yeah. okay. Uh, and that's, uh, they stand. Yeah. yeah. Of things. Um, so your dominance, so you gain one power for your dominance, yep. and then your Feast of Crows kicks in. Yes it does. Which is I then an additional two you power. additional two power. That puts me on five. Six. <coughs> Did you... No, you haven't put another one on yet. And one for dominance. And one for dominance, yeah. So yeah, it shoves you up to seven, yeah. right off the bat. That's alright. Okay, so everyone stands up, and then, yeah, the new plots. So, at the end of round two, Rich has seven power and myself, Lee, has two power. Such a huge power swing in round two for Rich there. So, without further ado, let's get straight into round three and see those plots. Okay. Okay. Uh, Clash of Kings. Clash of Kings. Uh, after you win a power challenge, uh, move one power from your losing opponent's faction card to your own. Cool beans. I'm playing Valar Morgris. When revealed, kill each character. Well, that's just rude. Isn't it? Your, I think Beric might be fine because he's got a dupe. He's, yeah, so he comes back to the hand. Yes, he does. Oh, is it? What's it say when he dies from a challenge? Um, when Davosewit is killed, Return him to your hand in, uh, instead of placing him in your dead pile. Okay, so yeah, go straight. So Davos will go in your hand. Stannis will die. Lightbringer will go back into your hand. Well, that's just silly and rude. Um, she'll die. So dead, 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 dead. Hand, hand. That one of those kill dupes, a kill a dupe. But that means if you have another one, if I kill it, he's dead. Stannis is dead, so you lose he's that dead. power. 
but the bonus is light ring, because it's an attachment, it's not terminal, it can go through your hands. Now, the thing is with mine, Jamie dies, Joffrey dies, and the bodyguard comes back to my hands. Okay. So, you can't do the bodyguard to save Jamie? Oh, I could, yeah. Just a thought. Yeah, that's true. I could Although do I don't want you to, but I assume it's a thing. Yeah, I'll do that. Save him. Save Jamie, even though he's going to be like stranded there. That's two. Uh, I get five. Okay. Right. Five. So my first quick question is, sir, um, would you like to go first or second? I have listed nine. Um, I will let you go first. So, Marshall, I'm going to kneel the uh, the great ball yep. to reduce my next unique by one, then spend two. For the hound. Wow. Yeah. Cost of three. And that's me done. Yeah, but he has a forced reaction, the hound. Uh, after you win a challenge in which the hound is participating, you may discard one card at random from your hand if you do um, if you do not return the hound to your hand. Okay. Um, so two for Darren Seaworth. Yep, okay, so and what I'll is... Um, put three gold on him. Cool, and what's... So, well, no, put the gold on him. Yeah. There you go, there you go. Sorry, what's his I card? I think it comes out of the pool. Yeah, it does, yeah, yeah. Um, so, after you win Dominance, discard X gold from Devon Seaworth to search your deck for a non-limited location with a printed cost of X or lower. Uh, reveal it and put it into play. X, uh, X cannot be zero, uh, then shuffle your deck. Did I just say limited location? Or not? Yeah, uh, non-limited location. My first thinking of that was, holy shit, just get all the rose roads out. But you can't. But no. to be quite frank, you're Baratheon, so there are ways of getting more gold as well. Gonna do anything? Are you not? No. Well, that seems rude. Yeah. Um. Power. Power challenge of six. Because I have Clash of Kings. After you win a power challenge, move one power from the, from the losing opponent's faction card to your. This might be bad, but I'm gonna let it go unopposed. Okay. So, one for unopposed. One for unopposed, one, one off yours, me. and then one for Pasha Kings. True, true. Does that, does that come off me as well, yeah? So, yeah, I'm back to zero, and you're at what now? Nine? Nine. Yep. Yeah. Um, I will then do a military challenge. Yep. Yeah. Because apparently the kid has a. Which I will block. Yep. Yeah. And then to keep him out on the board, I will discard. Sir. Oh, it is random. Oh, Ooh. this could be a problem. Ooh. You! Yes. It was a guy I was going to discard anyway. Um, it's a lion pain. He is no longer a part of my plans. Okay. So. I win dominance. You win dominance, so you gain power. I will then activate Devon Seaworth. Okay, to look for a location because of Devon Seaworth. And while you're sorting out life, How's your hand size doing? Uh, Just five. so I know. One, two, three, four, five. Five and it's six, six seven. seven. Oh, mine's five and I have way too many cards so I need to make sacrifices. Yep, I'm happy with my location, which is uh, Chamber of the Painted Table. Okay. Uh, reaction, after you win dominance, kneel Chamber of the Painted Table to move one power from your opponent's faction card to your own. Right. Whenever you're ready. Oh, um, you no longer have Stannis, so I can actually stand Jamie. You can now. stand, yeah. I will allow you to stand. <laughs> <laughs> okay, let's pick new plots. New plots. Okay, round three is in the books, and as you can see, Rich has 10 power, and myself, Lee, has zero power. What a turn that was for Baratheon. So, with that round in the books, let's get straight into round four, and let's see those plots. I've got mine ready. I know what I'm going to go for. I do not know. 
Um, and okay. we're on turn and four. Done. All right, what are you doing, sir? God, I can't believe you have to go to turn four. Yeah, well, all right, Fil all right. Then. Filthy yeah. accusations. Okay, I've got time and plenty. So, filthy accusations, what does that do? Uh, choose and kneel a character. Yeah, bye, Jamie. He's, he's always kneeling, I guess. And then I've got time and plenty. Increase the number of cards each player draws in the draw phase by one. Okay. I have initiative of one. Four. Would you like to go first? Uh, yes, I will. Cool. And we draw three? Yes, draw three. And I get six gold. Sound. Sound. So I will. Dragonstone port for zero. Yep. And that's a. Uh, is that the reducer? It's a reducer. Yeah. A reducer okay. for bracket. Yep. Okay. And it's limited. And I will then. Down the Seaworth again? Yep, yeah, down the Seaworth, yep. Yeah. Um, and I will have to sit down, I guess. Okay, cool. So, what we'll do is Great Hall to reduce this card by two, then spend five to bring out Cersei Lannister with the Duke. Oh, good. Uh, Sissy Lancer does not kneel when declared as an attacker in a um, intrigue challenge. You're good. After one or more cards discarded from an opponent's hand, if you do not support that character, Cersei Lancer gains one card. And then, just for one, I'm going to nightmares my favourite character in Game of Thrones. I'm sorry. Why would you? I'm gonna nightmares um, Beric. Why would you do that? Yeah, man, uh, so, so that means he's now a zero. He is. So when he dies. That's a good question. I don't think nightmare. What does nightmare technically say? Holy shit! Oh, and he's got renowned as well. I should be putting tokens on it, but I didn't. So we have a bit of a problem. As you can see, I've nightmares Beric. So we had to do some talking between myself, Rich and Mike. Now, we couldn't really figure out how it would interact. So as you can tell, we went online for the answer. And what it stated online is that his strength will go to zero, but he cannot be declared in any challenges due to having zero strength. Now that could be wrong, it could be right, but that's the answer we found online on multiple questions asked about this little interaction. So without further ado, let's get straight back into this round. Is it going to be a like now, or, uh, until the end of the phase? Oh shit, I'll wait for that then. I will casually wait until... <laughs> is it the challenge phase, Rich? Yes. Okay, for an action then in the <laughs> challenge phase, rewind, we're learning. Now I will do it. There we go. That's there we go. That's now that's I've learned. Okay. Okay. Um, uh, power of military. I will stealth because I forgot that that's a thing. Uh huh. Stealth. They, they, she'll kneel if power defending gets power, doesn't she? Yes, she does. Yes. So I will stealth the hound. Yeah. Power? Yeah. Uh, this couldn't let me lose the game, but I'll, I'll let it go through. Uh, so, so, unopposed. Uh, it's unopposed and a power, so gain another power. So, I can't take one, can I? Oh shit, you can't now because I'm fucking penniless. Yeah. So, you're only gaining one. Um, and then military. Yeah. Of two. Well, I'll block it with the hound yeah. and then discard a card. Which is just a lowly little guy called a Lannister support guard. Uh, is it my turn? It is indeed. Okay. Now this yeah. is where it gets a little bit manic. Cersei is going to do an unopposed insight challenge. So this is what happens, right? Unopposed for that. She then looks at your hand. Not at your hand, sorry, sorry, sorry. No, I mean, normal intrigue challenge occurs, but it's unopposed, so I gain a power. Yeah. Cool. I take one card. 
Of my choice. Yeah. Lightbringer is now in your discard pile. Because after one or more cards are disrupted from hand, if they do not support her, any player, Cersei Lannister gains one power. She gains a power. Yep. Now I'll trigger Castle Rock. You may initiate an additional one. Sure. So I'll do another one where I gain a power for that. I'll discard another one. Which is the Light of Law. Oh, the Light of Law is pretty good. Yep. Don't want to get that. And because no one supported her again, yep. we do that. Yep. And now, because we can, we'll do an unopposed power challenge. Okay. Which is then. Which, wait a minute, wait a minute. Uh oh, uh oh. Have I balls it? Have I balls it? So, I would say, uh, it, it doesn't matter too oh, much. it's too cold. Too so cold. it's too cold. Yeah, yeah. okay. Um, ours is the Fury. Yeah, okay. Play only during a challenge in which you are the defending player. Yeah. Action. Yeah. Choose a kneeling Brathian character you control. Yeah. Uh, that character is now participating as the defender. Yeah. So obviously, yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah. Uh, if you win the challenge, stand to that character. Okay, so basically you block it so it doesn't go in a pose, yeah. but I gain one power off you. Yeah. And then I... Okay. So... Uh, that's yes. Before okay. I cheat some more. So, now... I'm in dominance? You do win dominance. Or you've got more stuff to do? Uh, no, I've got no more to play. So, I win dominance. Yep, so you gain one power. Gain one power. Other triggers now, here we go. After you win dominance, kneel the chamber of the painted table to move one power from your effect from your opponent's faction card to your own. Okay, cool, so Thank I lose much. the power there, there we go. Uh, and I think that's is about that, it. Is that about it? So you're at 12. Oh, and then him. Okay, yeah. So I can search for... You can search for a location. Which I have a feeling I have in my hand already. <laughs> uh, I will bring out uh, Storm's End. Okay, what does Storm's End do? you win dominance, Discard one power from your faction card to choose two characters. Yeah. Each of those characters gain one power. Ooh! For the cost of one. Very good. So that's your location. Right, so everyone stands, right? Yep. Nightmares goes away now. He's no longer suffering from a violent case of nightmares. Nightmares is discarded. And uh, everything stands. And then we uh, figure out life. Okay, with round four in the books, the scores on the doors is as follows. Rich has 12 power and myself, Lee, has four power. So I got a little bit back, but as you can see, Rich is running away with this one. So without further ado, let's get straight into round five and see those plot cards. Yeah, I'll do that. I'll do a King's Peace. Okay, you do King's Peace. I'll choose Quest Call. So, your king's piece, what does that do? The reaction. After a military or power challenge is initiated against you, the attacking player may either kneel his or her faction card or move one power from that faction card to yours. If that player does not, the challenge immediately ends with no winner or loser. Okay, seems pretty good. I got close call, so when revealed, move a character from your dead pile to your discard pile. Then. If there are no winner plot cards in play, draw one card. Is that winter? No. Nope. Cool. So, the guy who's going back for my dead pile is Joffrey. He's now going to my discard. So now I'm going to draw. No, there's... Uh, what's the... Uh, goes to Harren's Hall? Yeah, it goes it to Harren's Hall, hasn't it? It says bring back the top player... No, the top character from your dead pile yeah. back onto the field. Yeah, that's, that's, so that's the one you have, isn't it? Yeah. Yeah. Okay, cool. So, um... Um, I'll get five gold. Yeah, yeah, I have initiative zero. I have initiative zero as well. Uh, you have more power than me, right? Uh, yes. I am so going first. Uh, I'll draw two cards. I'm going to go first, so draw two. Okay, we're going to kneel the Great Hall to reduce this by two. Yep. And we're going to go four. And we're going to do Victorian Greyjoy. Sure. He has Intimidate and Renown. Uh, when um, he would be killed, I could discard two power from him to save him. Sure. And I will pass the turn to you, sir. Play one for Kingswood. <coughs> Just all the locations. Um, I will then... <laughs> That's not me. No, no. I will then... Two. Uh, I will... Shoot. 
Yeah. No point. Yep. I will then uh, play two for Tishmura Moot's Armoury. No. That's just, that's just a card, I think, isn't it? Oh, Marshall. Nice. So, one. Yeah. To bring out the uh, salary, which is. Uh, well, so, Kingswood. Yeah. During challenge phases in which you are a uh, defending player, each attacking character gains minus one strength. Um, after you lose a power challenge, sacrifice Kingswood. Cool, cool. Uh, Moot's armory, reaction after you win dominance, kneel the armory to draw one card. Okay. Uh, I'm not going to lie, you have a shed load of locations I back do. there, mate. I, I really so do. many. Um, and lacking in characters. Okay. Seen in Flames. Is, uh, what is that? Is that an event? Yes. Okay, so read that out. So, uh, play only if you control uh, a Rulia character. Yep. Challenge action. Uh, choose an opponent, look at his or her hand, then choose and discard one from the hand. And before this... Uh, yeah. you know it's not actually the card that I thought it was. I've got one card in there that says... The thing I, is, I really want to play this at the same time you play that, because I forgot to play something, but you can... You, you can see us initiative. I've got initiative. So, you play first, I guess. I would definitely nightmares him again. And that, But there's something in there you'll take off. There's two in there, man. Yeah, I'll get rid of the uh, so seal of the hand. Yeah, seal of the hand is a solid shout. Okay, so, Cersei's coming in for an intrigue. So, first of all, it's on a post. Yep. And then I discard one. Because um, um, no one assisted it, she yeah, gains so, power. Yeah, so, Siri so really has uh, some training. Yeah, Siri really has training. She gains power. Right. She'll go in again yep. for an intrigue. Yep. Unopposed. Yep. But she doesn't gain a power because she doesn't discard a card this time. Yep. I read that card correctly. Now, is it limited to three times per round, Rich? Jump. Okay. So, now. Should have got rid of one goal for the scene and That's fine. Okay. Um, I know, I've got a new match. Or move one power over to me. But the problem is, I'm looking at how much is your dominance if you don't do anything? So he's zero. He's, oh, no, he's going to be. He'll be, he'll be, he'll back, be back at back six. six. Eight. Yeah. Eleven. Yeah. Nineteen. Nineteen. I've got. Ten. Eleven. Twenty-two. I'm going to do a uh, military challenge of five. I am going to tap this, so because of the trigger from the. Uh, was it the king's piece? Yeah. So there you go. I will. So what are you on now? 11, 17. Yep. I'll just kill him. He's oh, unopposed. Uh, is there anything funky if I... He's got uh, Intimidate and Renown. That's quite annoying. It is. So, they're basically, they're both going to get tapped anyway. They are, but it's letting it go unopposed. That's yeah. the problem. So I may as well block it. Okay. Still goes through. Still, Still goes, goes through. Yep. Yeah. So he has Renown. Uh, Discard. Discard or kill? Kill. Killed, yeah. <coughs> and that is me done. Okay. Uh, there's not much I can do. Yeah. There must be something. Nothing. Nothing. Yeah. Okay, so uh, dominance, I believe, comes to me. So my dominance goes to there. And then. I've got nothing. I've got eight. Eight plus that. Oh, six. Oh, 14. 14. Well, still six, lost anyway. 12. Because of his like, intimidating, intimidating thing, it means that they were both going to block anyway. So, yeah, so I gained that. So at the end of this round, I'm now at, what, 10, and you are at still 12. Oh no, I'm at 9, sorry. I can't count, I'm at 9. We're there, we're there. 
you can hear it. It's getting quite loud now. So round five is in the books and the scores on the doors as follows. Rich has stayed at 12 power, but myself, Lee, I've crawled it back to nine. So this game is getting quite close. So without further ado, let's get straight into round six and see those plot cards. I'm doing a confiscation. He doesn't trigger it. He basically says, choose an attachment, discard it from play. Yeah. I don't want to play the other card yet. So um, he's basically got initiative of five. Yours is what? Oh, counting copies. So draw three cards. Two. My initiative is five. I can go four. So um, I'm going first. For one, we're playing a Lannister the Merchant. Then for two, we'll play a land support guard. And then my Lannister support guard, reaction after you march this guy, each player draws a card. Sure. So draw a card, Rich. And then for one. Oh no, we're good. You're good? We're good. Okay, your turn, sir. Um, so for that Custer draft, I've been corrected, it's Custer draft. Who figures? Maybe. Go for it. Maybe. Uh, for so, Edric Storm. So two for Edric Storm, yep. Yeah. Um, uh, oh, he's naughty. What does he do? So, he... Uh, after the dominant phase begins, choose a character. That character does not contribute strength to its control total dominance phase. Oof. It's a little bit naughty, that. It's good. I then have two left. Which I will put on for one. Motley. Okay. Opponent's character only. Yep. Attachment character gains full trait. Reaction. After the attached character is declared as an attacker or defender, discard one card randomly from their opponent's hand. Okay. So Motley. Alright, okay, yes. Yeah. from this. Renown. Yep. Renown. Yep. Intimidate of one, but I can't do it to him. Uh, but you have to kill a character. He's doing a job. Cool beans. Right. How many cards you got in hand? Four. Cersei's going to go in for an unopposed um, intrigue challenge. So she gains one. And then discarding one to gain one, so here we go, we'll yeah. change it. The maester's gone, yeah. but because she now win? has the motley. Yeah. Oh no, I'll let you discard some cards. There is someone in there you could pick for a win. Ah, oh, trickery. And then she'll go in again, and it triggers again. And I don't know how the bloody hell I've pulled that off. But I'll let you pick. There is someone, I'll let you pick a winner. Oh, look. Yes, there you go, you picked the winner. Tywin was in there as well, for like next turn, which was being good. That was close. Honestly, if he didn't come out at the time, 
I pretty possibly would have lost because you had more military that I could deal with. Yeah. But yeah, Jesus, that's a great game. And so the mighty Lannisters pulled it out. At one point, I was 12 nothing down, and somehow I clawed my way back into that game. Un believable. So without further ado guys on the screen right now is a thumbnail to take you to the next episode when it is live. If it's not up there now unfortunately I'm still editing it but if it's up there now go check it out if you want to. Please leave a like. A like is much appreciated and leave a comment below and tell us your thoughts of the games we're bringing you here on Bleeped Up Productions. Uh, if you've enjoyed it please subscribe that's always good and check out our podcasts uh, that we do here on Bleeped Up Productions at the Podbean link in the description below. So without further ado Take care, have a good one, and we'll see you in the not-too-distant future for some more Game of Thrones content.